In this worksheet, we'll learn about the ionic compounds, how the formation of ionic compounds takes place. Now, before starting the formation of ionic compounds, we should know what are ions. There are two types of ion, cation and anion. So, the ion which is having negative charge is known as anion and the ion which is having positive charge is known as cation. The question comes how they become cation or anion. So, if any, any element which loses electron, it will get a positive charge on it and it will be called as cation. And if any element it gains electron, it will get a negative charge and it will be known as anion. So, metals tend to lose electrons so they become cation and non-metals they gain electrons forming anion. Okay? So, in other words ionic compounds are held together by ionic bonds. So, you have to learn the definition of ionic bonds. Elements can gain or lose electron in order to attain the nearest noble gas configuration. The question comes why the electrons or elements elements generally lose electrons. So, to acquire the nearest noble gas configuration or to complete the octet to become stable. So, in a reaction between metal and a non-metal, generally metals are which lose electrons to complete their octet and non-metals are the one which gain electron to complete their octet and they react to form the ionic compounds. Now, how this formation of ionic compound take place? Ionic compounds are also known as electrocovalent compounds. The chemical bond formed by transfer of electron from one atom to another is known as ionic bond. Okay, So, this is the definition of ionic bonds and you can see from the picture the formation of sodium chloride is shown. Sodium chloride in this sodium is losing one electron shown in red color because sodium atomic number 11 having the one electron in the outermost shell which is hindering in to complete its octet isko jo hai koi bhi seven electron dega nahi so it will lose this one electron chlorine which is having seven electron in the outermost shell so it requires only one so the sodium is giving the one electron and both of them are completing their octet to get the noble gas configuration you can see from here also sodium plus electron and chlorine plus electron. Likewise, you can see magnesium or magnesium chloride. So, the magnesium is having two electrons in the outermost shell, two electrons are lost and chlorine having two electrons. So, chlorine require only one. So, two chlorines will come together to get these two electrons. You can see one chlorine from this side and one from this side forming the compound magnesium chloride MgCl2. Now, let us see the question answers very simple question answers are there for write up uh, write up the question answers you can see the description also at the end of the video in the description part you will get the pdf formation of the question answers what are anion and cations and how these anions and cations formed so we have seen that anions are the elements which gain electrons and cation are the elements which lose electrons okay and how they are formed to they lose electron to become cation and acquires a net positive charge and anions they gain electron to get the negative charge. What are ionic, how are ionic bond forms? So, the chemical bond formed by transfer of electron from one to another is known as ionic bond is the definition. Why atoms tends to gain or lose electrons? It tends to gain or lose electron in order to attain their nearest noble gas configuration. This is answer number 3. Then the justify the state, statement calcium oxide is an ionic compound or not. So, in this you have to remember that we have to show the structure also that calcium oxide is ionic compound or not. So, what is the atomic number of calcium oxide? As calcium it is 20. So, in this the outermost shell will be jo hai, having two electrons so calcium atomic number 20 so 2 8 8 2 2 electrons and oxygen outermost shell will be having 6 atomic number 8 so it will transfer two electrons and this is how it will be giving you calcium 2 plus and oxygen will be 2 minus and you will get calcium oxide. 
explain the formation of sodium chloride by the transfer of electron so you can give the this structure for the formation of sodium chloride in case of transfer of electron hope you like the worksheet as I told you for the answer number one two and three you can see the description of the video you will get the answers and next two answer four and five are here from worksheet calcium oxide and sodium chloride thank you